So we're oversteering this 30 to make sure that we can make our 31 a middle threat all the time. So even if we pass the ball in the middle of the court, which Brandon's not used to, we want to make sure that our setter oversteers to the 30 so he can see all of his hitting options as well as their blocking scheme. Instead of trying to turn his back to the opponent, we're trying to get him to square to it so he can see. So we're going to run a 31 into here. And Austin's going to try and face me in here. Like that. So he's in here and then he's got, he can see me, he can see the opposite, he can see his left, and he can more importantly see their blocking scheme. So if there's a guy that's going to overcommit, he's going to be able to see that and hit the right guy accordingly. As opposed to being back around this way and not being able to see this guy here at all. Not, right? So it opens up his vision and it still lets him hold here. This is a constant threat. He could still set that 31. Just like that. Squares it up and fires it home. There it is. I haven't done it with my 11 year old yet, but uh, I, I think the way that the game is going in terms of the multiple options and trying to keep the middle a threat all the time, this becomes really, really valuable of being able to see the defense, but more importantly, being able to see all four options. So no matter what direction you're in here, you're not gonna have to drop that inside shoulder, otherwise your hands are gonna come off the ball different. So if he doesn't drop his inside shoulder in a direction he's gonna set that ball, there's a potential of a double hit. Yeah. That's amazing, Austin. Don't do tactically what you can't do technically. So until they can get this, uh, I don't know. It, for us, it becomes really, really important that the pipe is an option because he can also set the pipe out of this. He can set, see the middle and depending on what they're doing. So I don't know if this is a, a skill that can be uh, fully utilized until they're maybe 17, 18 U. Um, but prior to that, you can definitely teach side setting that's not back setting. So they may not be able to employ all of the benefits of side setting, but they can definitely learn how to and how to drop the inside shoulder and keep those hands on a plane that's not just linear.